Hello everyone, this is Naufal here and today I'm going to explore this Microsoft Power BI. Microsoft Power BI is a tool for generating reports, creating dashboard and analyze your data. So how it analyze your data, it visualize your data actually. So today we're going to try one of this many visualization this Power BI is provided let's say I'll take this gauge visual so why gauge visual because gauge visual is perfect if you want to measure or if you want to check your progress towards a particular target and where is the data come from I already have a data in Excel format so this is in uptime so my data is all about a network uptime in a year so this is the data yes this is it I'll check the box and the Microsoft Power BI will load it inside the Power BI so here is the data and Power BI will save it inside the Power BI so if you want to work on the other place we don't need to import the data again because the Power BI has already saved the data here so now let's get started first we want to drag just drag the column we want to measure here and this is the visual this number is the sum of all numbers in the column because Power BI automatically sums the numbers but we can change it I don't want to sum it I want to make it the average so the average number and this is the maximum value the maximum value is by default it is the double of the value we choose to display and the minimum value is of course zero in default so how do we change the minimum and maximum value in here we have the minimum value column and maximum value column so if we want to put the data here we can choose this person uptime I'll put it on the maximum value and this automatically sums it but we can change it to choose the maximum value so there the maximum value is 1 because it is percentage and this is it oh and many people has confused about how to change the data into a percentage format so here we we're going to change this into percentage format so let's get back to the data so this is the percent uptime column I used and this is already on decimal number because if we want to change it into a percentage format the Power BI tools will multiply it by a hundred percent so it has to be a decimal number but don't worry, this column I take from the original data, original uptime in seconds. So let's open the modeling tab and we can just change it into this percentage format. Apply percentage format and now the data has already turned into a percentage format. And we need to make it round. Just remove a decimal number and it automatically runs up the value and the report is also changed according to the value so this is it and now the next step we're going to apply the target and how to do it we can change it here if you have the value about your target maybe you want it to be a maximum but if you want to be if your target is the maximum number we don't have to apply the target it will automatically record the progress but I have a target for this percentage but I have the target for this uptime network so let's click on this paint roller icon here we can see all the configuration for this visual so here in the gauge axis we can set up the minimum value because we haven't set it up 
right here so we set it right here let it be zero because it is in percentage format so the target I want it to be 80 percent so I just put it in a decimal number 0 0.8 and there is it the target has shown up now we have to change the title because there's no title here actually there is a title but this very small in the corner so we're going to set it into a percentage of network uptime and let's make it bigger in the text okay this will do and I'll change it to the black so it will be more contrast with the data and here we go so this is how we use the gauge visual and the second if we want to track our progress in a certain date we need to have some filter to it right so let's add a filter choose this slicer visual and we want to filter it by date so we'll drag this date column here and put it inside the field and the slicer will filter the date so we'll change the title of this okay let's put it on a uh, filter by date okay let's change the color and enlarge the text okay so the f this slicer will act as a filter for the data if we want to drag it like this the data will change according to the filter but if you want to measure it month by month you can choose it in January the first January and the last January here we go if we want to change it into February just pick the date and it will automatically filter the data for you okay so that's how we use gauge visual and slicer filter and the next step do you want real you might want to save it let's name it network uptime let's save the file and maybe in the office you can bring your data home but if you want to continue your work at home you can do it with the power bi cloud so after you save your work here your reports you can actually publish it but before you publish it I need you to activate the Power BI Cloud over here and if you haven't activated just go to the Power BI website powerbi.microsoft.com and you can just sign in here with your organization account just put a sign in here click the sign in button and you will automatically activate the power bi cloud after you activate it there will be this column yellow column here so let's get back to the power bi now you can publish your data just click publish the power bi then the power bi will send your data into this workspace choose my workspace and it's upload it into the cloud now let's open this network and tada you'll have your reports in the power bi cloud so that's all for me thank you for watching bye bye